let's look at your routines. Uh, I want to be sure I have this right. So you get up at 3.30 in the morning because you got a lot to do. And you jog and you do this till like 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then you feed the dogs. Yes. And then you're back at it. At 9.30, you have your first breakfast, which is like yogurt and, and fruit. And you jog while you're eating it. Mm -hmm. And you do this till 11.30 when you have your second breakfast. Yes. And that's usually an English muffin. Uh, then you take a bathroom break. You wish you didn't have to do that, right? I you you wish said I you'd didn't. rather have a catheter or. <laughs> You, yeah. You could wear the pins or something. <laughs> Back at it at 11.40, you jog till 1.30, and then you have, you, you slice and refrigerate an apple and then jog. Sometimes you ask her to slice the apple up. If I'm at her. Uh, then for, at 3 p.m., you have lunch, cottage cheese and apple while jogging. Mm -hmm. at 4 p.m., you take a three-minute break for a fruit snack and then back at it. Yes. Three minutes. At the most. <laughs> Then from 4.30 to 5, you stop jogging, depending on the calories burned, when your husband gets home. And then you have dinner, which is a low-calorie grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, then 5.20, you take your meds, change into your pajamas, feed the dogs. At 5.30, you, what, what do you take then and why? My doctor prescribed me um, Suboxone for pain medication for my fibromyalgia, and I'd really like to get off of it, so... I've read on my fibromyalgia groups that a lot of people had success taking Kratom to help them get off opioids and help them get off other prescription painkillers. And then you eat uh, red velvet cake. Yes. Then 5.30 to 6, you watch television with your husband. Mm -hmm. Okay, then at 6 p.m., you eat pumpkin pie or cereal and go or to bed. Cereal. Yeah. What time do you go to bed? About 6.30, sometimes 7. Okay, and then you're back up at 3.30 in the morning. Yeah. What do you think about while you're jogging? Just anything to zone out and not focus on what I'm doing because I'm in so much pain from the jogging. I just try to do anything I can to take my mind off of it. But you're jogging because of the pain. Yeah, that's how it started. But the jogging is causing pain. Yes. Doesn't make much sense, does it? It'd be like if you slammed your hand in the car door and it hurt, so to fix that, you would slam your hand in the car door some more. Never thought of it like that. Well, you're cured. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs>